This is Movie Time. Leslie Mitchell reporting. The team's been presented to the King before the start of the England v Scotland international soccer match at Wembley. It was a cold day for it, and Busby and Cullis wasted no time over the toss-up. Scotland kicked off, and for the first 35 minutes there was little to choose between the teams. No goals were scored, but the visitors gave Ditchburn plenty of opportunities to show what he's made of. Scotland were naturally all out to stop Matthews, England's famous right winger, and their new left back, Stephen, worked like a hero on the job. The two of them were constantly in the picture, but Matthews takes a lot of stopping, and it was a brilliant piece of work on his part that gave Hagen the chance of opening the score, and he took it. Scotland suddenly reacted promptly. Within two or three minutes, Dodds beat Ditchburn to make it one all. Incidentally, Scotland's first goal at Wembley for six years. General Montgomery enjoyed a commanding view from the royal box. Cabinet ministers were present and King Hawken of Norway. Princess Elizabeth, next to Monty, was watching, I believe, her first international. The second half produced a riot of goals. The first, rather hard luck for Scotland, went in off Macaulay's head from a centre by Smith, 2-1. England drew ahead again when Lawton scored his. Hagen, getting his second, brought the score to 4-1. Then England's left half, Mercer, took up the tail, 5-1. Finally, Carter, 6-1. Scotland, who played a much stouter game than the score would seem to indicate, had the last word. Dodds netted again. 